Janice Chapman will always be the queen of my iTunes account. Welcome back to Amazingly Average, the show with advice for Amazingly Average authors and actors. My name is John, and my very first college experience was going to a drag show. I thought we were going to see a drag race with cars, and instead we were serenaded by men in dresses. Today's tip is for the Amazingly Average authors out there. W-Y-S. Oh, wake your siblings. Dan. Dan. <sighs> what? There's a monster under my bed. Let me check it out. <laughs> oh, what do you know? It actually stands for What's your soundtrack? Imagine your book, play, or poem as if it were a movie. What music would be playing in the background? Sometimes listening to a song can inspire a character or situation. Definitely don't plagiarize, but it's okay to be inspired by other artists. A song going through my head when I was writing my first play was Safe and Sound by Taylor Swift in the Civil Wars. You and I will be safe. Then sound. We'll just stop it there, this is not a cover. Picking an appropriate song to listen to can adjust the mood of a piece. If you're writing an argument that's gonna culminate in a big melodramatic breakup scene between two teenagers, then My Chemical Romance is probably a good place to start. Maybe listening to an opera can help you imagine the fictitious art exhibits in the museum. If you need ideas of what to listen to, maybe just turn on the TV or a movie and then pay really close attention to the song songs that they play in the background. An excellent collection of music, in my opinion, was all of the songs from the soundtrack of the first season of MTV's Scream. If you watch the show and then listen to the indie music, the two actually complement each other very well. Knock knock. Who's there? <sighs> that friend that likes to fight about politics. So, who are you voting for in the upcoming presidential election? Eh, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Politics are EVERYTHING! I don't care. <laughs> oh, he went there. Still don't care. Leave your questions about acting or writing in the comments below or on my Facebook or Twitter. And now it's time for another installment of What's in John's Mug? <sighs> rum. Just kidding. Why is the rum always gone? If you like this video, then make a sick playlist and write your masterpiece. If not, then just ignore all the free beverages under your brother's bed. Was this the Easter Bunny or just really thoughtful PR? Amazingly average. I'm bound to lose my mind! It's 11.26. What am I doing with my life? <laughs>